Energy Travel Van. Today is very exciting because we're going to have a look at the 2022 Unity RL. Now this is one spectacular motorhome. As a matter of fact, two years ago, Salt Lake City National RV Show won the best new small RV at the show voted by our peers and I think you're going to absolutely love it. If you're looking for a small motorhome, 25 feet, one inch long, that can have a dry bathroom, two separate living areas, beautiful Murphy bed, sleeping for up to four people with the optional air mattress, and you want to be small and take it anywhere in North America, the Unity RL will be for you. I can't wait to show you. Come on, let's go inside and have a look at this unbelievable motorhome. Welcome into the Unity RL for 2022. We are in the back lounge area. This is what's great about this motorhome. Two separate living areas, front and back. And as you can see, we're just sitting back here, chilling. We have beautiful reclining chairs to sit back and relax for two. You know, a complete living area. It can be an office. It can be anything you want it to be. Plus it can be a beautiful bed area when this beautiful Murphy bed comes back. TV, streaming Bluetooth soundbar. I've got uh, USB charging plugs here, inverted plugs here as well. Working on my computer, my laptop. We have our beautiful solarium style windows, awning style windows, open all the way up, cross ventilation on both sides, so lots of glass. It really feels like you're in your solarium. We also have some other great features here. We have some daytime shades. We have a privacy curtain that snaps in here at night as well, and nighttime shades as well. And I love this because you have the awning style windows open, you can have air coming through, and you can have your sunshade down as well. Nice big lounge area. You know, it can be also used as a day bed, which is very smart. So I have just lots of room. I can sit anywhere. It comes a chaise lounge. I can watch TV. I mean, this is just one incredible use of space. Okay, so living room area, entertainment area, sleeping area, also a work area. So our front table can slide in over here, put the lagoon table down, mount the table up into here, and look at this. I've got a second eating area, I can watch TV or a work area, laptop, iPads, also becomes a full office. I think you're gonna really love this area. Great for watching TV. We got a Bluetooth streaming sound bar and we have a smart Blu-ray player which makes our TV smart. So just a great area to watch TV in. Then once again, the solarium windows and this is the privacy curtain for the solarium windows at night. So all the Unity RLs have a Firefly multiplexing system and you can control the motorhome off of your smartphone. The main control panel is up at the front and then we have secondary control panels so you can turn off all your lights. You can control different lights, different areas in here, all off these secondary panels. We also have USB charging ports and inverted 120 plugs as well in the back. And look at the storage LED lights built into the cabinets, look fantastic. Nice big storage area up here. Once again, curved doors. This one has our white upper package. This is also done in our natural rift wood color. And we also do cashmere up above here. More storage. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. I love how those doors open. Lots of storage space. Looks fantastic. Love the curved door and the soft close as well. So all Unity RLs for 2022 have two different wood colors, natural rift and cashmere, three different ultra leather colors, mountain, which is this color. We also do fog and earth. We have two different countertops, Antarctica white and concrete. So standard our curved upper cabinets would be in the color wood that you choose. Or you can also order the optional white uppers. It's a Fenix product, comes out of Italy and uh, gives you the white upper curved cabinets. From a beautiful living room area, office area, entertainment area, we're gonna make it into our bed area. A Little bit of storage over here. This little cushion here is for the bed up front, which will make into a super single bed. And then we actually have an optional air mattress, so you can actually sleep two here and two at the front. So very simple to make this into a bed area. It's very, very simple and fast. So we remove all the cushions. This is our bed base, right? So it locks in place. I have a little handle here, I release that, and look at this, down the bed comes. Okay, so then we just make the bed, and look at this, nice big double bed area. Very nice, lots and lots of room. I'm well over six foot one, look at this. Put my feet straight out, I've got lots of room. Look, without the pillow here, you can see how much room I have. 
even with the pillow on, I've got lots of leg room, lots of way to sleep. Absolutely fantastic and lots of room for somebody else. I also love this little feature. We got a little built-in cubby hole here. Put my cell phone and I've got a USB charging port right here as well. So I really like this area. You can actually sit up in bed. I can still clear the cabinets, no problem. I can still watch TV in bed at my streaming Bluetooth. We got the smart Blu-ray player. I can actually turn lights on and off. And if you hold the button, you can dim them as well. So you have reading lights at night. I love how we've integrated the lights into the ceiling. And of course we have ducted air conditioning throughout the entire motorhome, including the bedroom area, because we have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump as well. So you're gonna have cool air throughout the motorhome, or if you have the heat pump on, you can actually have warm air throughout the motorhome. And we know what you're gonna love about the RL is if somebody else was sleeping here, watch this, I can slide out of the bed without bothering them and go to the bathroom or get something from their fridge or if I get up early in the morning and I want to work up in the front area, not going to bother anybody. Look at that. So really a walk around bed. Look at this, back to bed. Yes, not a problem. So that's one of the great, great features on the Unity RL. Okay, I also like how you can leave your sheets on, lock them in place, and then we're gonna bring the bed back up. Once again, I release this. Make sure your partner's out of there. Up it comes. Very nice. And then we're just gonna lock this in place. So you can see how fast and simple it goes from a bedroom area back into a living area. And let's talk about some more storage area. Look at this, nice big hanging closet here. And our pull-out drawers. Look at that, pull all the way out. Very nice. And they also have soft clothes. You're gonna love this feature. This separates the two areas. So I've got a private living room area in the front, private bathroom in the back, nice dressing mirror for getting dressed in the morning. Of course, we have our Leisure Travel Van store online, www.leisurevans.com. And you can buy lots of leisure gear, which you wanna have when you're driving your leisure motorhome down the road. Okay, so the Unity RL has a dry bathroom, so not a wet bath. You don't have to sit on the toilet to shower, residential style, dry bathroom. Stand up shower. My good friend Josiah, who's six foot five, says, Dean, I can fit in here, no problem. Look at this. Yes, you can, because look at that. Barely touched the top of the ceiling. Beautiful skylight. We have our integrated shower area here. We have a little uh, water restrictor here on the shower head. If you're dry camping, it'll restrict the flow of water. Over here, we got places for your shampoo and your soaps. Little place here to hang a towel, LED light. And if you want to drip dry something, look at this. You can drip dry your bathing suit and towels. It'll drip down into the pan and not get everything wet in the motorhome. So very well done. A really nice big shower handle for getting in and out. Nice shower door comes across. It's got a little squeegee on it so all the water drips back into the shower pan. So really smart use. Nice big stand-up shower. Okay, over on the other side, we have our beautiful bathroom area. Curved door. We gotta talk about this macerator toilet. So what a macerator toilet does, China macerator toilet, marine grade. It churns up all the solids, shoots them into your black tank. So everything's more in a liquid state. Look at this nice big storage area here, medicine cabinet. Very, very nice. And we've got our countertop all done in solid surface corian. This is Antarctica. We have a nice little sink here for washing your hands and brushing your teeth, accessory channel. We've got our multiplexing system here for uh, turning on our lights and on our fans. So I can just simply press the button and boom, fantastic fan comes on. Look at that, how simple it is. I like this nice little window for some beautiful sunlight or I can give myself some privacy once again with a nice mirror for getting ready in the morning. So that's all right there. So underneath here, full water filtration. So all the unities have full water filtration. That's is where you change your uh, filter and nice little area here for some more storage. Got some storage up here as well. So nice, beautiful, dry bathroom. So what a beautiful rear living room area, bedroom area, dry bathroom. I love it. And look how beautiful the LED rope lighting is in the ceiling, ducted air conditioning throughout. Come on up to the front here. Whoa, what's this? A second living area. Hey, why not? 25 foot, one inch total length motorhome, 19 foot house has got two living room areas. Like to see you try that in a class B van. I don't think that would happen. Look at this nice, beautiful living area here. I, my chairs from a Mercedes Benz, they turn and swivel, become part of the living room area. And I really like this little feature as you can expand the chair out for us 34 inch inseam guys. Absolutely fantastic. Living room area, this also makes into a super single bed. And we have a new option of an optional air mattress so you can actually sleep up to four people in this motorhome. We have four seat belts, one, two, 
three, four. I love how you can use the driver and passenger seats as lounge chairs to watch your TV. So you can see your front TV. So two TVs in this motor, one in the back, one in the front. Streaming Bluetooth sound bar. And just to the right of the galley, we have our place here where we keep our smart Blu-ray player and our TV switcher box. The TV switcher box would allow me to watch TV here, movie in the back, satellite dish, the T4 wine guard option that you can uh, get. And uh, you can watch satellite TV here, movie in the back. Over here, we have our coax cables for plugging in your satellite receiver. These are all inverted plugs. And then over here, we have our wine guard, 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with uh, 4G capability. It's also a TV antenna. Once again, all of these switches are all inverted and run off the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Okay, from a lounge area, entertainment area, really a second living area. I can also make it into a dinette area. Our table just hides underneath here. We use a lagoon table, so very simple to use. I'm just going to slide this out and we have our main base right here. We just lock this in place right here. Not bad, I can do it all one-handed, I like that. Put our lagoon table on, and then we can just put the uh, main table on here. Locks in place right like this. And now I've got a nice little dining room table. So set the table height, you can lock it in place. And now I've got a nice beautiful dining room area with the leafs extended for four people. So I can sit here, I can sit there, I can sit over here. Look at this, I can sit over here. Dinner for four, playing cards. You can also use it as a workstation. Put your laptop on here. It's easy to move from the front to the back. Table slides out of the way. I can get something out of the fridge. Absolutely fantastic, good use of space. This table also mounts in the back as well. So you've got a very multifunctional dining room area, living room area, sleeping area. From a dining room area, living room area, now we can make it into a super single bed. And you'll just see, it's pretty simple to do. This is just gonna come across. And then over on this side, we're gonna bring this across. This makes into your foundation for your bed. So we take our dining room table, place it right in the middle here. This secondary cushion is in the back of the motorhome. Put that in there. Cushions go down and look at this, a big, long, single bed, absolutely fantastic. Look at this. I have tons of room, tons of room for a super single bed. Or you're going to like this little feature. We have an optional air mattress and it's got an air pump, two piece air mattress. One fills up the centerpiece and then the rest of it makes into a beautiful bed for up to two people. Okay, so our table just gets out of the way and now we're back to a beautiful living room area, entertainment area. You can actually just flip that over and use it as a chaise lounge too. So it's super comfortable to uh, sit back, relax, watch TV, work on your computer, read. Let's talk about some other important things. Look above here, we got some great storage in here. So once again, our optional air mattress. We have our informational binder. We have our front curtain that goes around the windshield for privacy at night. But nice big storage area. We also have an optional safe that you can put up here as well. Storage, curtain curved door, storage. Right over here, we have our solar panel control. So for 2022, we have a new option, low profile, rigid solar panels, 200 watts or 400 watts. More storage over on this side, a little storage down here, which is very nice. And if you look up here, we've got our beautiful opening skylight. I absolutely love that. Look at this, opens up lots of fresh air. If you have some bugs in the area, we can bring it across. No bugs can get in the motorhome at nighttime or if it's super hot during the day and you want to have your your skylight open look at that nice privacy shade you can actually do half and half as well so very nice that's standard on all unity models once again ducted air conditioning throughout the roof the led lights in the roof look fantastic so right here we have our firefly multiplexing control system this is the main panel so this kind of controls the motorhome you can tell what's going on with the motorhome so you can see right now our freshwater tanks are empty gray is empty black is empty and we have 29% of propane in there. You can turn on your water pump. You can uh, set all your lights. You can turn your lights off and on. You can turn your lights on, all off. We can set up our auto gen start. This one has the optional propane generator. So we have auto gen start. So you can set it by temperature, for example. If it gets too hot in the motorhome, it will turn on the air conditioner, keep the pets cool in the house. You can set it by time, low voltage. So auto gen start is standard when you order the optional propane generator. It's not available when you order the diesel generator. So a couple of little things here. I can set my temperature for my air conditioning, my heat pump or my furnace, just kind of like a residential one. You would set the temperature. And if you want the air conditioner to come on, you would turn on cool. If you want the heat pump, you turn on the heat pump, furnace, furnace. I always leave the fans on auto. Plus you can download the app and you can run the motorhome off of your smartphone. 
Okay, as we work our way down, we get a place here to hang our jackets, all done in ultra leather, three different colors, synthetic man-made leather, doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't mold, doesn't mildew, this is mountain. And then we have our multiplexing panel for controlling this section of the motorhome. You can see here we got a nice LED light built into the handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. Battery disconnect switch, and we also have our fire extinguisher and our beautiful door. And for privacy, look at this. Locks into place at nighttime, very nice. Daytime, nighttime shades over here on this window. And then above here, we got our control center for the inside of the motorhome. So nice option to have is four point hydraulic leveling jacks. So you just press the button, automatically levels the coach. Over here, we have a new option for the uh, Unity Motorhomes. We have lithium battery option, 200 amp lithium battery option. This is the heater for it. So lithium batteries don't like the cold. When it gets to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, they don't want to take a charge. So we have a built-in heating system. When we pressed on this light, you can see it lights up red. I know that I'm heating those lithium batteries. And when you order that option, we invert the microwave as well. So if you wanted to, uh, not have your generator running and use your microwave, make sure that you order the lithium battery option upgrade for 2022. Right over here, we got our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. You can set the uh, temperature here to either comfort or eco, if it's on comfort, it keeps that one liter of hot water nice and hot all the time. On eco, it does not. And it also has a clean mode. Don't put it on clean unless you're gonna clean the hot water heater, because it takes about an hour and a half to do so. And here's our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So little control center built just above the door, easy access and easy to use. Okay, let's talk about the galley area up above here. Some beautiful deep cabinets, full-size cabinets. You can put your full-size plate. I love this little area here for accessories and spices and things like that. And right above here, we got some more uh, areas for spices and things that you want to have. We have our fantastic fan right here for uh, when you're cooking. Nice big galley area. As you can see, solid Korean countertops. We have Antarctica white. We also do concrete. I like this two burner spark ignition stove. Fires right up and uh, make sure that's completely off. You have a splash guard built right in, which is very nice. Awning style window, you can see it's raining out right now. We have our windows open. We don't have to worry about any rain coming into the motorhome. I love the accessory channel with the uh, paper towel holder. You have a place here for pan scrubbies or anything that you wanna do there. And you're also gonna love this. We've got a nice big deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet and the sink cover. We have a place right here that you can store it out of the way when you're cooking completely out of the way. And I can wash dishes and do things like that. And you're gonna love this full drawer extensions pot and pan drawer more storage here's our filter for our full water filtration system and then right here place here for your cutlery and once again all done in soft clothes place here for your some hanging towels built-in garbage can and easy access to our water pump and our truma aqua go comfort plus hot water heater i think we already have a nice big galley area for food prep but this is very very smart You'll see here we've got a counter extension built right in, also done in solid Corian. So now you'll have an unbelievable amount of space for food preparation. Hey, so over in the galley area here, we have another multiplexing panel for turning my fan off and on and my lights. And we also have a beautiful pull out pantry. Very, very nice. So put all your canned goods in there and you're gonna love the lock. When it locks, it locks solid. Over on the right side here, we've got our microwave. This is a convection microwave, so it's a standard microwave. It also is an oven. And when you order the optional lithium batteries, we invert the microwave so you can run it off the house batteries. Great for making coffee or something in the morning without waking everybody up running your generator. And then we have our two door one two, three-way fridge. So it runs on 120 volt, propane, and 12 volt. And this fridge is very unique because it opens two different ways. So if I'm in the back lounge area here and I wanna get a drink, I can just simply go here, grab my drink, and I'm back relaxing in the man cave. Yes, this is one beautiful, beautiful floor plan. It has everything you could want in a small motorhome. Storage space, interior, dry bathroom, two living areas, seat belts for four, sleeping up to four, the dual fridge, I love that. Nice big galley area. I mean, it's really got everything you could possibly want in a small motorhome. Remember, it's hard to believe we're 25 feet, one inch, bumper to bumper. The house is only 19 feet. We've got everything you could possibly want in a small, small motorhome. And what powers this beautiful motorhome is the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. I can't wait to tell you about this chassis. It's actually fantastic. 
Okay, the Unity's always been powered by the Mercedes-Benz chassis. They upgraded their chassis a few years ago. We just want to talk about some of the really cool features. So standard is our V6 engine, three liter, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. She rolls down the highway, seven-speed automatic transmission, 170-inch wheelbase, so it is fun to drive. Electric power steering is one of the new features that they have. If you have never driven electric power steering, it's absolutely fantastic. Keyless start right here, runs right off the... Uh, fob here 10.25 inch monitor basically it's just like an ipad you can run the entire system you also have a voice communications for uh, navigation as well hey mercedes how can i help absolutely fantastic we're good thank you very much so uh serious radio now available as a subscription am fm of course we have air conditioning power windows power mirrors one of the new features is we have power seats and they're heated as well new climate control system which is quite nice and the really big one of course is the adaptive cruise control a couple safety features that they've added which are up in here that triangle we talked about that you got front collision impact assist lane keeping assist traffic sign assist braking assist and they have side wind stabilization so lots of great safety features on the mercedes-benz chassis on the mbux from mercedes-benz we've got apple carplay Android Auto, streaming Bluetooth, and of course we can easily hook up our cell phones to it as well. On the navigation system, which you can voice command or you can manually enter your location, you get free upgrades on the navigation system for three years from Mercedes-Benz. Some other really cool features, lots of USB charging ports, plus you can also charge your phone right here. We also have great storage area above, little cubby holes all throughout, and lots of drink holders. They've got drink holders everywhere in the doors. We've got four up front. Got lights up here for your map lights. Just lots of great area, and it's big. Like, it feels really big. It's easy for me. I'm six foot one. Look at this. Easily stand up. I don't crush my head, and I can walk to the back of the motorhome. So let's talk about the steering wheel. A nice, beautiful leather wrap. we got tilt steering, telescopic steering depending on how tall you are. By the way, I have a 34 inch inseam. I can, uh, I have to move the seat forward to get to the accelerator and the brake. That's how much room you have. So if you're tall, you're gonna absolutely love the Mercedes-Benz. So on the steering wheel controls, the left side controls everything here on the dash. The right side controls everything here on the right side of the motorhome. A couple other additional safety features. We have front airbags here, here, and also in the seats as well. Also, when you buy a leisure travel van, we give you two years of roadside assistance, which uh, for emergency fuel, lockout service. You also have a concierge service if you need service or repairs anywhere in Canada and the United States. And please make sure if you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one is to join my LTV. It's absolutely fantastic. We have walkthrough videos virtually on everything in the motorhome so you can see all the different things on how to run your leisure travel van plus we have different photo contests throughout the year and you can join a travelers club and you can get together with other leisure travel van customers so make sure you join my ltv Wow, that is one spectacular interior and floor plan. Unbelievable. But if you think that's unbelievable, look how beautiful the Unity RL is from the outside. Just take a moment and have a look at all the design, the lines, the curved wall, how we integrate the fiberglass into the chassis. I mean, that is one beautiful, sexy looking motorhome. So let's have a quick look at the outside on the Unity RL for 2022. You can see our courtesy light. Once again, you can see how the curved wall, integrated fiberglass. Okay, let's have a look at the awning. One of the great things, we have a Firefly multiplexing system. I can actually turn the lights on and off, off my smartphone. We have a wind sensor awning here. We're just gonna hit this button and it's gonna come all the way out. It's gonna be about 12 feet in length, seven feet wide. We also have a wind sensor mechanism on it, which is very nice. If it's super windy outside, leave your awning in. But what the wind sensor is gonna do, if we get a gust of wind, I'm gonna simulate that it's going to automatically go back up okay i love the led lights in the awning we also have led light above the door over here and we also have an led light in the handle for getting in and out let's talk about storage so most small motorhomes if you're looking at smaller class b motorhomes they don't have any storage space this is very important storage is important in a small RV, as yes, it is in any RV, but look at this. Nice, beautiful, curved fiberglass door, built-in struts. We uh, spray foam underneath. 
all of our compartments and our tanks so that no road damage can happen. We also use galvanized sheet metal that's super strong, won't crack. We line all the cargo areas as well. And we have a brand new lock system on all of our Unity models. So right here, that locks in place. You can see how the door grabs up underneath. We also have a key for all of our lower compartment doors. We call it our switchblade key. And I can lock the door. And there we go there. And speaking of locks, we also have a great option that's built right in the Mercedes-Benz chassis. We have our keyless entry so I can lock the doors or I can unlock the doors right off the Mercedes-Benz key fob. As we work our way forward, underneath here is where we keep our uh, batteries, standard AGM batteries, or we have a great option of lithium batteries, which you can get. We also have our step here, so you can the step will automatically come out and up you can also put it on camp mode shut the door step stays down that gives you a longer life on your step don't panic if uh, you turn on the ignition and you have the step on camp mode it will automatically go back up and over here we got our beautiful screen door I really like this feature because if you have pets like cash is my boxer he would go through this screen door like that but we put the supports aluminum supports across so that if you have pets they are not going to come out through the door and once again you can see we've start the engine Boom, step goes up. As we work our way down, we have our vents for our refrigerator, three-way refrigerator, so propane, 120 volt and 12 volt. Underneath here, we have another storage compartment and we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Very important, you wanna have a pure sine wave inverter. All of our electronics now need pure, clean power and that's why you wanna have a pure sine wave inverter, 2000 watt inverter right there. And here's your 30 amp shore power connection when you're uh, plugged into a campground. That's just gonna sit in there. We also use an EPDM rubber hinge seal. I really like this. That controls the door. It's like a hinge, it is a hinge. And uh, that way we don't use a piano hinge or, or uh, hinges with uh, metal on them because over the time they rust and then you get rust marks when you wash your vehicle. So I really like the EPDM rubber hinge seal. And once again, you can see how the door locks really nicely in place. You're gonna absolutely love the beautiful curved wall. This is a vacuum bonded curved wall. I think you're gonna love the unique look of a Unity motorhome. You can spot them driving down the highway all over the US and Canada. And it's because of the integrated fiberglass work with the chassis, the curved wall, the curved door. Very aerodynamic and it just looks spectacular when going down the road. And speaking of construction, so all of our walls are vacuum bonded. That's the best way to manufacture a wall. It's the strongest, the most consistent R value, the most consistent strength it's not pinch rolled it's not a, a hung wall it's a vacuum bonded wall roof and floor floor is steel frame box tubular steel walls and roof are boxed aluminum I'm not gonna hit it because last time I couldn't go for a week after I did that little demonstration but it's super super strong that really just completes the distinct look of a unity motorhome absolutely beautiful and all Unity Motorhomes are full body paint, which means that we paint each color. As a matter of fact, we paint each color three times, three coats of paint, three coats of paint, two coats of clear. And for 2022, we have eight different exterior colors. This is Glacier, one of our newer colors. We also have two new colors for 2022, Shadow and Atlantic Blue. We also have Eurosport, White Suede, Graphite, Silver, and Champagne. So with eight different colors, we have a color for everyone. Okay, as we work our way down, full fiberglass fender skirts, and then down below here, we have the standard Mercedes-Benz steel rims with simulators. Now we have six wheels, so there's dualies on the back each side, two wheels, right? So nice and stable when you're going down the road, plus obviously two at the front. Or we have a great option called Alcoa aluminum rims, where we go with six aluminum rims, so the dualies at the back. On the outside facing, we have a Durabrite finish, which looks fantastic and it's easy to clean. Another really cool thing that we do on all of our leisure travel vans is we spray foam underneath the wheel wells and all the tanks below. Keeps it quieter when you're going down the road and prevents any road damage. Very, very important. We always talk about exterior storage as being very important. Here's our main storage area on the RL. Nice big storage area here. We also keep our optional table right here. And you can actually take this out if you want and make that all storage. You can see that is one big storage area. Nice option is our exterior table. We call it our suitcase table, all done in aluminum powder coated. So if you do a lot of dry camping and you don't have a table with you, you can order the uh, optional table. Very easy to set up. It's got adjustable legs right here and it just locks in place. We have the mounts built into the uh, motorhome. 
And look at that, locks in place right here. And you got yourself your own table. And it also becomes a workstation outside. So we have an outside 120 electrical plug. If you have a little outside electric grill, you can plug that in. And we also have a propane quick connect. So if you have a little gas barbecue, you can plug it in there, run it off the main propane tank of the motorhome. So you've got a work area, kitchen area, and a place to have a dinner as well. Okay, nice big storage area here. Once again, we have the locks lock in place. Looks absolutely great, EPDM rubber hinge seal. We talked about our sexy frameless glass windows a little bit earlier, but awning style, I forgot to mention that. So the awning style means that they open up. If it was pouring rain out, I can still have my awnings open. And of course you've got cross ventilation from the inside because we have windows on both sides, which is nice. So you get lots of fresh air inside the motorhome. Pouring rain, not a problem. Okay, as so we work our way behind this beautiful motorhome, now look at this full fiberglass, rear mass, full body paint, LED marker lights, and you can see our integrated backup camera that works off the MBUX monitor up front on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. I love the design, how it's contoured. You can see LED marker lights, two-piece rear fiberglass mask, so main mask and secondary bumper mask. If somebody were to hit your bumper, you could just replace this part. You wouldn't have to replace all of it, but look how it's all integrated into the chassis, into the body. All the design looks absolutely fantastic. Down below, we have our seven pin connector for towing and we have a 5,000 pound receiver hitch. So on a Unity RL, if you were to load it up to the maximum GVWR of the chassis, which is 11,030 pounds, you could tow 4,220 pounds behind the motorhome. Okay, let's look at our outside service center. We're on the uh, driver's side right now. So once again, we have everything all in one spot. I really like that. So you don't have to go all over the motorhome to fill your tanks or dump your tanks. Everything's right here. So this is where you would dump your tank traditionally. We always include the three inch uh, hose for dumping the tanks. Always pull your black valve first, then your gray. That washes the line out. We have a great option called a macerator pump that we have. You can. Uh, Order that if you want. Everything is already connected. It runs out of a one inch uh, line. You can actually dump uphill if you had to. Right here is our propane fill, 15 gallon propane tank. So that gets filled up by a certified propane filler. This is your Sani flush for cleaning your black water tank. So you always wanna make sure you're plugged into a dump station, black tank open when you're cleaning your black tank. Over here, we have our satellite dish connection. If you have a portable satellite dish, you can plug it in here. Up on the roof, we're pre-wired for satellite dish as an option. We run the uh, T4 wine guard system that does dish, direct, and bell. Over here, we have our TV cable connection. If your campground has cable, you can plug in there and watch it on your TVs up front. Propane disconnect switch, so anytime you're filling up the propane, make sure you turn it off. Water pump is right here, so if you want to, uh, you forget to turn on your water pump, let's say I'm, I wanted to uh, wash my pets pause before they go in the motorhome. So I forgot to turn on the water pump inside. This is my, my water connection. I can turn on the water pump here and I have hot and cold running water. To fill up your fresh water right here, we run it up underneath here. We hook it up to here. There's a valve here for shore water or our water tank. And then you can keep this closed and have your water running up in through the system as well. Over here, we've got our winterizing bypass valve. So if you're going to winterize the unit, you would then turn that on and that way no antifreeze goes into your freshwater tank. And this is a pickup hose. We kind of like this little feature. It's kind of a fun feature to have. For winterizing the motorhome, you can put that in RV antifreeze, turn on your water pump, suck it up through the lines. Or if you're dry camping and you're out of fresh water in your tank and you have a big jug of water, you can actually suck the water up into your freshwater tank. So nice little feature to have there on all the Unity models. One of the great features on the RL is the solarium style windows. As you can see, we have a beautiful lakefront foresty area here. I have a beautiful view of the lake and the forest area. The two solarium style windows, with the awning style window here, creates some uh, fresh air throughout the motorhome, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And we look up here, we've got our beautiful little window for our bathroom. Over here, we've got our 30 amp shore power connection and all Unity motorhomes have a surge protector which prevents any bad power from coming into the motorhome. So if you're plugged into power and you can't understand why there's no power inside the motorhome, good chance the surge protector is saying, hey, this is bad power and it won't let the power into the motorhome. So always check the surge protector just in case. 
Okay, moving down, 16,000 BTU furnace. So we have two ways to heat the motorhome. We have a heat pump in the air conditioner, so 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a built-in heat pump, and 16,000 BTU propane furnace keep you nice and warm on cooler days and nights. And here we've got our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the best hot water heater in the industry. And the reason for that is we have a one liter reserve tank here that when you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps that water nice and hot and it runs water to the line so in the sink faucet hot in the bathroom faucet hot in the shower head hot when it starts to use up that one liter of hot water the heat exchangers are continuously getting hotter and hotter and it gives you continuous unlimited hot water truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater standard on all unity models some more storage down below and we also have our sewer hose container right here for dumping your tanks nice little spot there out of the way once again nice big storage area once again strutted locked in place not going to fall and drop you on your head i like this over here we have our optional generator so we can go with a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator which has auto gen start the auto gen start feature basically runs simply that you can set it by air temperature inside the motorhome. So you can set the air conditioner. If you have pets in the motorhome, it will automatically turn on the generator, turn on the air conditioner, keep the motorhome nice and cool. You can set it by time. You can also set it for low voltage. So auto gen start, great feature that comes with the optional propane generator. Other generator we have is the 3.2 diesel generator. It does not have auto gen start. So you have two different options, 3.6 kilowatt propane generator or 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. As we work our way forward, look above here in the galley area, another beautiful, sexy frameless glass window like that awning style. You can see how we integrate the, the uh, fiberglass into the chassis, into the body design. Here's where you fill up your diesel fuel right there. So you can fill up the diesel fuel, no fumes going to the motorhome. Close this up, now it's locked for security. Nice little step for getting in and out of the motorhome. The mirrors slide back in here, so we're seven feet, 10 inches wide. These are all heated power mirrors. Another courtesy light up there for getting in and out of the motorhome. As we work our way up to the front of the motorhome, so what powers the Unity Motorhomes is the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. Let's just take a moment and have a look at how beautiful this motorhome is. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Full fiberglass front mask the side mast, the curved wall. I mean, nothing in the world looks like a Unity when it's rolling down the highway. High intensity LED lights, fog lights. We have uh, windshield, automatic windshield rain sensors and windshield wiper as well. We got a nice little step for cleaning the window, which I really like. And up here, you can see the pyramid or the triangle up front. That's all your safety features. Front collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, traffic sign assist, lots of great safety features on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. Wow, the Unity RL for 2022. This is one spectacular motorhome inside and outside. We're small, we're compact, we can take lots of stuff with us. So we now have two beautiful sleeping areas, seat belts up to four, a dry bathroom, and what's very important, two separate living areas. In a house that is 19 feet, the actual full size of the motorhome only 25 feet one inch. 10 feet seven inches high and seven feet 10 inches wide. So a lot of motorhome in a small, compact vehicle. Absolutely fantastic. Hey, thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel and our Unity video on the 2022 RL. We do appreciate it. Make sure you smash that bell up there and subscribe to our channel. We do appreciate it. Hey, make sure you go and see your local Leisure Travel Van dealer and see the Unity RL in person. Take that beautiful Mercedes-Benz out for a drive. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, it's siesta time. I'm pulling down the Murphy bed. Catch you later. You can configure your leisure travel van today. We have build in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.